we give you it. Gift you. <laughs> we give it you. <laughs> Hello, hello, and welcome back to Superdrug TV. I'm Keeks Reed, and I'm so excited to be back with you for another episode while we continue to celebrate Black History Month and Halloween. Before we get started, if you like your health and beauty tips, tricks, and hacks, just hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell so you never miss an episode. Here's what we've got coming up today. We give you an access all areas pass to the Superdrug Halloween campaign shoot. Hi Superdrug TV, my name is Leela, I am a beauty content creator. I'm here to talk you through this year's Halloween look, which is the Fallen Angel. Hi everyone, I'm At Angel and I'm so excited because I'm here with you on Superdrug TV talking about my haul from Nubia's Place. So excited to show you a super quick look. First up, we're heading behind the scenes on Superdrug's Halloween campaign, giving a taste of what goes on behind those cameras where the magic really happens. Hi guys, I'm Tiffany. I'm here today with Superdrug shooting their Halloween campaign and I am the Sea Witch. So I'm going to show you behind the scenes. Come with me. Superdrug TV, my name is Leela, I am a beauty content creator. I'm here to talk you through this year's Halloween look, which is the Fallen Angel. First, I'm gonna start off by using the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. So I've just finished my base, and now we're gonna go and contour with the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. This one's the Hydrating Satin one, and it's in the shade Rich Chocolate. It's the perfect contour shade. So I'm first gonna just go in just about here where the sort of the top of my ear is here and go down like that we want to really give a nice sharp contour because we are a dark angel we want to give that really nice contoured look to the face gives it a bit more definition as well it's going to contour here so on the chin and then i'm going to contour just down my nose here then we're just going to go and blend the contour in just gonna do tapping motion, start from the top and work your way down really slowly. As you can see, look how easily that has blended into the skin. So I've just powdered my face and now we're gonna go in with the e.l.f. Bite Size Brow in black. So I'm gonna use the darkest shade from the palette to start my eye look. As you can see, this is really nice and pigmented. So you just want to start on the outer corners here and pack in the product and then grab a little bit more and almost like you're about to draw a wing really lightly drag it outwards like this tap the product in the corner and then gently sweep out so you sweep it in the eyeshadow out like that and that gives it a really nice faded look. And it also makes it look a lot more seamless and less blocky. So I'm going in with a bit more just to do the other eye, making sure that the deepest colour is right on the outer end and then fading it out this way and fading it out this way. A little tip, just tap your brush like this make sure there's no excess eyeshadow that will just help you use minimal product and not have any fallout or just too many harsh lines then using a black liquid eyeliner go in 
and do a wing on both sides. I like to start just at the corner of the eye here, drag it up to sort of like almost the middle of where you've winged that part of your eye out and then draw right into the centre of the eye. I like to do a half wing, I find it a lot easier to do a half wing than a full wing and it gives a really nice effect. So just to enhance the look you can add a little bit of black liner in the waterline and then I like to add a little bit of liner in the inner corners and that kind of brings all the look together. So next we're going to create the veins so with the same liner. So this is a little bit tricky so you're going to channel your inner artist here but once you create the vein outlines you then fill it in and it's a lot easier to neaten it up that way and they don't have to be even, they literally can be however you like it to be, it's sort of like your own personal preference. I like to keep them quite thin and just not too long as well, probably taking it up to about here. So I'm literally going to just start and just draw a couple of sort of wiggly lines down here. You can see it looks a little bit messy at the moment, but once it's filled in, it will look so much better. And then it will look a little bit like this. And then you wanna go and do the same on this side to this eye. A little trick as well, when you fill them out, you can also drag them down really thin at the ends, and that makes it look a lot more thinner. It sort of gives it a gradual, so thicker to thinner look. Here. So once you've finished it should look a little bit like this, the lines are a little bit thicker now and they really do stand out once you colour them in. So next I'm going to go in with a little bit of liquid eyeshadow glitter. This is going to go on the lids and it's really going to enhance the eyes and give that nice mystical sort of feel to it. Place it just here over the deeper parts of the outer lid. As you can tell here and it just gives it a little bit of sparkle really does enhance the look so nice there we go there's all the glitter added i'm then gonna use my favorite mascara which is the sky high mascara by maybelline and place it on your eyelids like you would normally do i'm just gonna put on some lashes to enhance the look even more there we go the lashes are on i really think lashes really suit this look really makes it pop makes the eyes pop i love it to finish up, I'm going to create some really nice, soft looking, defined brows using the Maybelline Fast Sculpt Brow Gel. And it's really super easy to apply. I'm just going to comb them up like that and it adds a little bit of colour as well as giving some definition. Such a quick, simple way to do your brows. I'm just going to fill in my lips with the black liner. This is a really good way to do black lipstick if you don't have any black lipstick. And then I'm going to do my hair and be right back. So that's it from me. This is my Superdrug Fallen Angel Halloween look. The products are linked down below. If you do recreate this, then please tag me and Superdrug. I would love to see. Tune in next week and I'll be showing you what you can do with your leftover Halloween bits. Thank you so much, Superdrug TV, and happy Halloween. Wow, those looks are incredible. Next, we have something special from the wonderful Ate Jill sharing her top black-owned brand and iconic products. Hi everyone, I'm Ate Jewel and I'm so excited because I'm here with you on Super Drag TV talking about my haul from Hubia's Place. So excited to show you a super quick look. I've got to dive in with a contour. Now, I love Hubia's Place because it is a black-owned business. The colours are popping and delicious. So beautiful. Really show up on darker skin tones. I, you know, in the past, growing up, I've always been a beauty mad teenager and uh, I've been in the industry for 20 years and it was always a challenge finding products which really pop on the skin and look great on deeper skin tones. So that's why I love this brand so much. So I'm going to use a darker shade, which is very exciting. So often you don't actually get colours which are dark enough to pop on my skin. But I'm going to take it, put my little mirror, and here I use fingers because I like to be fast. So here I'm going to go in here and just literally chisel out some cheekbones. I think people sometimes use their contour a little bit too low 
but that just gives a little bit of shape and definition to my face and it's so soft and it doesn't look like wah wah she's got contour on it just looks sculpted and delicious and then the bronzer i love to use bronzer on my eyes as a little makeup base so i'm going to go in now and it just like a little primer it just looks really polished that by itself is a really good look i love the power behind this brand where all the names of the eyeshadows and uh, blushes and everything is named after african rulers queens rebels and just it's just fantastic to see that power and the fact that all these colors pop and look great on all skin tones so this palette is delicious so if you like a kind of neutral more nude effect this is really good again i'm going to just put it on my lid like that as a really beautiful oh, daytime smoke look at that so with the bronzer just acting as a base and then just popping that on looks amazing and then if i sweep it under the eye and i just smoke it out a little bit so i just pop some under the eye i'll grab a little brush and I'll just smoke it out a little bit one look um then if you wanted to build it up a little bit more we could go in with some of the gemata just on the center of the eye as a pop and that just elevates it and makes it look a little bit more just gives it more depth so that's really i would say step one level one but you know i love color so this is one of my all-time favorite palettes the berries i've been on tv with it i love it it is literally screaming my name so beautiful i use this on my cheeks on my eyes everywhere but if you want to go in look at that pink i would just layer this on top so i'm going to go in with the pink and go bam when you pair it with a brown or chocolatey base something magical happens raspberry and chocolate is delicious and it's also delicious on the eyes and then if you want an extra little bit of sparkles i would pop a little bit of this color on the center and what i do is i just put it on the center of the eyelid and it just catches the light, just catches the light. I love that so much. And then if you wanted to put a little pop of this darker berry, you could use that on the cheeks as well. Pop it on the cheeks and then just gently blend that down. And what that's doing, blush is so underrated. I absolutely am obsessed with blush. It basically is like a highlighter for your face. It illuminates everything from the inside out. And then for a finishing touch, I am going to go in with a very natural lip color. I always prep my lips with a lip balm before doing lip uh, lipstick or lip gloss. It just makes it go on really smooth and it, it just makes your lipstick or color really perform beautifully. Ooh, look at that. And it just smells. If you're a child of the 80s like me, they used to have these stickers, uh, scratch and sniff, and it just smells like this scratch and sniff uh, sticker. Love that. Growing up, makeup was such a pleasure and a pain. It was a playground and a paradise, but it also could be a prison because so many colors didn't pop on my skin tone. They looked ashy, they looked chalky. And so it is so beautiful to see that there's brands like Uvia's Place who are just pumping up the, the pigment so it pops on the all skin tones especially my skin tone because with when you have a darker skin tone it absorbs light and just sucks light so you need more pigment to pop on the skin um and also getting a nude color like this was always challenging my nude something which looked really beautiful and didn't look too chalky or white on the skin and i'm going to just pop it in the center of my lip like that look at that this is giving me 90s gloss i've also got a little bit of brow gel just to brush up my brows because i think having groomed brows is super super duper chic and really frames your face so a little bit of brow gel just to finish and there you have it super easy quick juicy delicious colorful pigment packed look lovely to see you i'm such a huge fan of this range i love it so much i think this is my all-time favorite one of my iconic new favorites and i will see you all soon lovely to see you there's a link down below for all the info um where you can get it at super drug and so lovely to hang out with everybody thank you super drug tv bye fab thank you so much Ate. always insightful and i love your passion and so that's it for today, guys. See you again next week where we show you how to repurpose all those Halloween makeup products. Happy Halloween. Bye.